Welcome to our How to series on SAP Profitability and Performance Management. In this video we would like to give you some detailed information about the value chain sustainability management content, in particular the data sources used and the calculation model. With the expanded control options of digitization comes a great responsibility and the expectation of customers to implement sustainability goals in their operational business. In addition, taxes on CO2 emissions are being introduced in some regions of the world, which has a major impact on corporate and product profitability. This underlines how important sustainability has become for companies. The value chain sustainability content shows how you can measure, manage and minimize the carbon footprint of your company, your suppliers and customers down to the detailed product level. The heart of the value chain sustainability content is the integration into your SAP ERP and S4 HANA system. From there, the information is obtained at the individual document item level for the calculation of the carbon and energy footprint along the value chain of your company. Data from accounts payable and accounts receivable, material accounting, as well as master and hierarchy data are used to track the flow of materials and activities from purchasing through production to sales and delivery to the customer. External life cycle assessment data, sensor data and manual entries complete the database, on the basis of which the carbon and energy calculation and allocation per product and production step is carried out. The detailed results are then available for reporting and what-if simulation. Starting with the raw materials across all production steps, the delta additions to CO2 and energy are calculated and allocated until the consolidated result per product is finally determined. This gives customers a precise answer to the question, what is the consolidated carbon and energy footprint per product? Controllers get a new perspective on the profitability and costs of their product portfolios, including CO2 and energy costs. Business unit managers can use the detailed carbon and energy contributions per material, activity and production step to optimize business processes, from the cradle to the gate. The calculation model consists of several areas. In the Integrate Data Sources area, the relevant company data, the secondary environmental data such as input-output tables from the OECD as well as the fine-grained product and process data are read. In upstream processing, the carbon and energy footprint at regional and industrial sector level is calculated based on the purchasing and secondary environmental data using the Leontief algorithm. In downstream processing, carbon and energy footprints are calculated at regional and industrial sector level based on sales and secondary environmental data using the Gauche algorithm. In corporate operational processing, the relevant accounting data are classified with regard to their greenhouse gas scope. The interim results from the upstream, downstream and corporate calculation flow into the impact valuation, where a waste adjustment is first carried out and then the result is monetized. The optional product carbon footprint processing allocates all results on the level of individual production steps and products based on the material ledger value chain data. Two reporting levels are provided, on the one hand at the region and industrial sector level, on the other hand at the production step and product level. Thanks for watching. Find more videos about SAP profitability and performance management on this channel. Visit sap.com for more information or contact your local SAP account executive for a system demo.